Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 21st day of December. Christmas just around the corner. And, ooh, everybody's buzzing about snowflakes on Christmas. Could we see some around here? Well, hey, it's not carved in stone at all. In fact, it's a pretty tricky forecast. Let's go right to the SkyCam network this afternoon. We'll talk about it. First off, the view coming from Trussville. Looking right down Chalkville Mountain Road, the sky cloudy. Not much rain is expected today. We've seen a few sprinkles, a little light rain. Most people have not had enough to measure today. There's the Decatur Sky Cam up in the Tennessee Valley overlooking the mighty Tennessee River on a gray winter solstice day. Uh, the solstice at 538 local time this afternoon. This is the uh, darkest time you'll see it about this hour of the day, especially when it's cloudy and uh, down south, there's the Selma Sky Cam. That's the uh, Alabama River down below, and the, of course, the uh, historic Edmund Pettus Bridge. Pineapple Express still aimed at Southern California, producing a lot of rain there up into Arizona. Big snows for the mountains back in the southwest U.S. And again, around here, a fairly uh, zonal flow. We'll check the radar. There's just not much out there. That's 245, and uh, obviously. With a radar like that, you're not going to expect a lot of rain here in the short term. There's still a chance we'll see a little light rain tonight, maybe early tomorrow morning, but certainly no big deal. Temperatures a little warmer than forecast to the south and west. Look at Tuscaloosa soaring to 66 today, way above guidance. Uh, Anniston at 55, that's below our forecast high. We'd mention upper 50s today and Birmingham sitting at 61. And around the nation, still awfully cold at the north. Looks like it's... Uh, about 2 degrees up in uh, northeast Montana, uh, teens down into South Dakota, and that air will want to be dropping south, and we're going to feel it Christmas Day. Forget the snowflakes, it's going to turn cold this weekend. That's certainly one of the big weather headlines we got coming up. If you're traveling, there's the watch warning map. We've got winter weather issues uh, out west. Again, the mountains are slammed in Colorado and Utah. You know that. Uh, flash flood watches for parts of the southwest. That includes Las Vegas, Los Angeles, San Diego. And a winter storm watch up for the mountains of uh, Arizona. That's mainly for elevations out there above 6,500 feet tomorrow night. And we'll check the QPF chart, overall precipitation for the nation for the next five days, suggesting rainfall amounts of about uh, one-half inch here. And the big numbers, of course, are out west. All right, let's take a look. The 12Z GFS Global Forecast System. This is valid at noon tomorrow, noon Wednesday. About 18,000 feet up. The uh, pressure level is at 500 millibars. And again, you can see we've got that uh, big trough back in the western states setting the stage for very unsettled weather and uh, wild weather for California, Arizona with flooding and mountain snows out there. And uh, down below that, around here, it still looks kind of cloudyish and maybe some uh, light rain in spots in the morning. Uh, not totally convinced we see a lot of sun tomorrow. You know, we've been pretty optimistic and we've been forecasting some clearing by afternoon, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Go to Thursday. That looks like a nice day. That should be mostly sunny and uh, pleasant with a high in the uh, 50s. Uh, latest guidance coming in actually closer to 50. The GFS at 50 and the NAM at 48, so it could be a cooler day. And Friday, Christmas Eve, here's your trough, Vortmax over uh, the Red River. And down below that, rain breaks out over northeast Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, snow in uh, Missouri, north of Interstate 70, up into parts of Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. Then we'll go to uh, Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. Hey, hey, Christmas morning. About the time, uh, well, I know a lot of kids that get up way before 6 o'clock to hit the Christmas tree, but uh, this is 6 a.m. local time. Uh, that blue line, that's the uh, freeze line at 850 millibars, and that can be, can be a decent rain-snow line. And the model showing light precipitation. The key is very light. Uh, the GFS is really not showing much precipitation output from this system. Some rain late Friday night, maybe a brief change over to light snow Saturday morning, but this is certainly not representing a, a big deal here. Uh, and again, I don't think we'd see much accumulation from that. We'll go to noon on the GFS, and, and the whole thing is on by a surface low. Uh, reforms a secondary low on the coast of North Carolina near Cape Fear, and that's the one that could bring some big snow to parts of uh, North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. Uh, Lynchburg, Richmond, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, places like that. 
It could be a big snow Christmas day from this thing, and around here, just cold. Uh, whatever, Christmas Day will be windy and colder. Temperatures will likely drop into the upper 30s and will stay there all day. Peek some of the other models. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, European. This is valid at 6 o'clock Saturday evening, and the one thing that's clear about this model, it is much slower. Uh, the GFS has all of this on by. The European has rain falling over central and south Alabama Saturday evening, Christmas Day, with potential for light snow roughly from uh, Birmingham north. And again, the key's light, uh, the, the deeper moisture down south. The surface low is just south of Fort Walton Beach. And we've seen a lot of looks like that. And again, the dash line, that could be a rain-snow line, that blue dash line, the 540 line. Uh, but again, it's not overly bullish on snow with that. Just some light snow uh, would be possible here if that's right. And even the Canadian has backed off considerably with their moisture field. You know, the Canadian has been awfully aggressive, and now it's kind of backing off, looking more like the other models. This is valid uh, Christmas morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, potential rain-snow line north of Birmingham. Uh, and again, a bit of light snow around the Tennessee Valley with some light rain down to the south. So the Canadian coming in line really with the other models. So uh, I, I would say there's not a whole lot to be excited about here. Uh, could there be some snow for North Alabama? Absolutely. Could there be some accumulating snow? I'd say it's an outside chance, the better chance over the Tennessee Valley, but the moisture is going to be very inadequate up there. Uh, so we're not going to adjust the forecast a whole lot based on this. And just for fun, the Japanese, the JMA, this is always way too aggressive. Uh, this is Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, and that's got a huge moisture plume coming in from the west and the uh, uh, potential rain-snow line, the 540 line just north of Birmingham. But again, just discount this one. The bottom line is we're not going to change our forecast that much. Here's the uh, uh, GFS potential accumulated snow uh, with this thing, and it's got just a dusting for the uh, Tennessee Valley. Uh, really, basically, the counties along and north of the Tennessee River, and that's it. So, again, clearly uh, there's not enough evidence to really ramp up any ideas of a white Christmas. Uh, and, yes, we do note the GFS is a little colder. Uh, on this run, but still, we just don't see enough evidence to change things that much. Go to Sunday, it's cold, really cold. Uh, we'll probably be in the 30s all day. In fact, the, the GFS is now showing a high of 37. We wonder if we'll get above the freezing mark if this is right. Very cold day. And uh, Monday morning should be our coldest morning. Still kind of breezy there. If we can get the wind calm, we'll go in the teens easily there. And there's Tuesday of next week. Again, that's going to be a cold one, just a slow moderating trend. Highs would be in the uh, low and mid-40s. Uh, there's Wednesday of next week. Uh, rain breaks out to the west, and then uh, we'll go up there to Thursday the 30th. Uh, trough developing to the west. Down below that, rain breaks out. It would be all rain. And then New Year's Eve, Friday the 31st of December. I uh, got a surface low uh, down around uh, Tallahassee, but no cold air this time. The cold air way up north. And remember, with a pattern change, that's more like it. And then on the 1st, the uh, New Year's Day, uh, oh, that system is by. It turns a little colder, but again, the really cold air holds north of here. And with the NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation, going positive, the idea of a pattern change is very real, which make it harder for the cold air to get down in here. And the end of the forecast on the 6th of January, again, that's very in line with a positive NAO. The trough is out west. We've got ridging over Florida, and that would suggest no cold air at all here. So uh, that uh, this operational run of the GFS is certainly... Uh, in line with the teleconnections we're seeing for early next year, trending milder, at least temporarily. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.